AMS is dropping their injectors for the VR30 platform. And in this video, we're gonna talk about if you guys should get this for your VR30. Hit that intro. Welcome everybody back to Boost Emotion, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you. Alright guys, so let's talk about it, but before I get into the video guys, please hit that like button, subscribe button with the bell notification. I'm so super appreciative when you guys do that. Also, if you want to support me and support the channel, I have a Teespring account below if you want to buy any merch, it's shipped directly to your house. So guys, let's go, let's get into it. Now, if you guys already don't know, AMS is now, either today or and or release, have already released their uh, injectors for the VR30 platform. Now in this video, we're gonna talk about why the injectors fail, the old ones, and why are they using the new injectors. So let's talk about why the injectors fail. So as per AMS, they've had this car for this platform for definitely a while and they have their team of engineers that sat there and looked into a common issue. Um, one of the few, there's two reasons, there's two occasions that the injectors get stuck open. One that has nothing to do with um, E85 or tuning the car, your car is completely stopped. Um, Infinity doesn't tell you anything because it just replaced the injector. But as per AMS, they took the time out to look at injectors that have got stuck open. What they realized is that there is some kind of contamination. Contamination could either be coming from dust, uh, the dust uh, contamination, I gotta say contamination, it doesn't make sense, or any other type of uh, uh, particles or that might have that, or metal shards or pieces that may have gotten to the fuel line itself. Now to briefly show you, um, Two different fuel filters. This is a um, fuel, uh, not fuel filter, but the in tank fuel pump is this. Shout out to your near for have, let me have is a uh, in tank fuel pump. They have something called a pretty much like a sack or a strainer. If you take a look right there, um, all our cars I believe come with these strainer. But this strainer is relatively, it's it's only for the larger, bigger particles. Technically, after this fuel, after this uh, opening right here, this is the fuel line that goes to the car. Now it's also very dependent on the manufacturer, but the direct injector itself usually has a 10 to 20 micron filter on it. We'll talk about microns later, but there is some kind of filtration for the fuel later on. Now, do you think that's a good thing? Necessary? I don't think that's a good thing. And here's why I say what I say. Reason being is, um, and if you guys don't already know about the platform, the VR30 uses direct injection um, injectors. That means that the injector is pretty much releasing fuel inside of the cylinder. Port injection, they release it within the valves, which open up and then the fuel goes into the, the cylinder itself. All right, so always remember that. Inject, direct injection in the cylinder, port injection outside the cylinder, okay? Now these um, direct injection openings, when they let release fuel, they're so precise. Some of them are as small as one to two microns. Uh, micron, but briefly make it very simple for the math guys, is pretty much a micron is about, I think it's, uh, from what I remember, this is like, <laughs> really, I think it's one millionth of a meter or something like that. It's like one millionth of a meter. So as a, as a, uh, so you put it to scale, a, a human hair, right? The thickness is about 50 microns. So one to three microns is the opening to release fuel from a direct injection. It's insane, right? It's insane. That's how small this is. And think about this. These, this is pretty thin itself. But anyways, let me get off the talking about hair and stuff like that. So these, what would happen as per AMS, what they have stated is that particles will get stuck in these openings and that's how the injector would fail. Now, the second occasion that this usually would happen would be when people installed the AMS high pressure fuel pump or they installed the Spool FX high pressure fuel pump or maybe they might even run into an issue where they might have been installing a low pressure fuel pump or the inline filter or doing any type of service on the fuel line where other contaminants or debris can be induced into the lines. So in those two occasions, injectors have failed within the few hours to a few days because that these particles are now into, induced into the high pressure fuel line and then it goes into the injector and boom, it gets stuck open. 
So yes, one is one fault that has, that has nothing, you haven't touched the fuel line. There's just contaminants in the 93 fuel or 91. And then you have another one where you have probably induced um, these particles by installing them. And if I, and I work on cars, so, and you guys work on cars too, some of you guys who turn wrenches. So you just might've grabbed the high pressure fuel pump with your dirty glove or bare hand and just those little particles that just went like this inside of there, that's all it takes. That's all it takes because those particles are so little. Now, uh, what are some of what are some of the ways to alleviate this? Is um, shout out to Enthusiast POV and a few people who do that. They install inline fuel filters. This allows that anything any fuel that comes from the lower end tank up uh, in tank uh, fuel pump that anything that comes from the tank on you can actually uh, clear it up. But this that fuel filter will still be post no pre. Um, high pressure fuel pump. This is what I would say after this. This is honestly what I would say after this. There's really no way to really protect yourself from this. And this is not only something that's common with the VR30 community. This also applies to other direct injection cars out there. This does happen outside this platform, guys. Q50 guys are not, and Q50 60 guys are not the only ones who run into these issues. They definitely do happen. But anyways, let's move forward a little bit more. Excuse me, guys. Now. Should you guys get the new injectors and will it save you? No, it won't because as per the article I wish I would I think I should have said that before there's an article below from AMS where they came up with these findings that um, It's not gonna fix the problem because if you have any contaminants The injector is gonna still mess up now. They do offer you a warranty But if they find out that contaminants or debris got into an injector They are not gonna warranty it so what is the warranty for for it just failing if the injector fails then they'll probably warranty it but if they find out it's contaminated and got stuck open they're not going to warranty it so you're going to be out 300 dollars in an injector unfortunately um moving forward to the second part um let's talk about the reasons why you would need to get these injectors and i'm gonna tell you guys right now none of y'all are gonna probably need these injectors you don't need them they're not there. We thought that larger injectors were gonna be there to fix the problem of why the injectors kept on failing. Then we found out that they're not failing because they're crappy, they're failing because they get contaminated. So that necessarily means that the stock injectors are perfectly fine. That's it. So, most of you guys, I'm gonna tell you straight up in this video. Say it again. You only need larger injectors. Sorry, MS, I know you're watching. You're probably like, who the freaking boost? Um, you only need large injectors if you have this combo, pure turbos and or RT turbos. You're also on E85, and I'm talking about you want a high percentage of E85. You want to rock E70 and up. I'm talking about the purest E85 that you can. You want it the highest percentage for the tank because you need to deliver the most amount of fuel. Well, that looked like gang signs. Number four. <laughs> You have the largest high pressure fuel pump. Not this one, this isn't gonna be enough. You need the $2,300 one from AMS or you need the Spool FX 180 so you can deliver as much fuel as you can and have the, enough fuel pressure, right? And then finally, because you wanna be able to deliver as much fuel as you can as possible, because that those injectors I believe deliver almost 40% more fuel, and if you can deliver more fuel, you can run higher PSI and make more power Right? Um, you're gonna need those combos. And most of you guys are not gonna do that. You're not gonna do it, unfortunately. Because at that, at that price margin, it's expensive. It is super expensive, and not a lot of you guys are gonna be, um, be able to do it. I'm not trying to count you guys' pockets. But it's definitely an expensive modification, and I don't think you guys are just gonna run and jump to do that. Um, to briefly break that down, that means you'll have pure turbos, which are gonna come to like I don't know, ballpark under $5,000 with deposit. You're gonna need to get the highest, biggest high pressure fuel pump from AMS, let's say 2300. You're also gonna need to buy these injectors for $1,800. So that's just $4,000 in fueling just for the injectors and high pressure fuel pump. Also on top of that, I forgot to say it in the video, I completely slipped my mind. You guys also, as per AMS, they want you guys to replace the fuel rail too because they state that these contaminants be, could be coming from the fuel rail itself because after so much mileage and 
maybe gunk up in particles in the casting process, maybe from fact, this is my opinion right here. The casting process when they made the funeral, there still be, might be metal components that maybe still haven't dislodged themselves in the fuel and when you run the higher pressure of the higher pressure fuel pump and there's a lot of vibrations from this because this piston goes in and out it goes in and out so when it comes out it sucks the fuel in and then when it pushes in because the can low hits here guess what it pumps the fuel out and that's how it bumps out the pressure so all those excessive vibrations with the larger piston and everything might dislodge some of these particles off the in interior of the fuel and also maybe the contamination of you installing it and these particles go into the injector and they get stuck open. So yes, you still have to spend another $400 on fuel rolls. This is as per AMS and try to be as clean as possible. This is not only exclusive to our cars. This is exclusive to almost any car that's direct injection. You gotta do it properly and do it properly the first time. So guys, this is an expensive modification. And I mean, I mean, even at this point, I gotta sit there and say, if I was any of you guys, I would check out. This is my opinion, I would check out. Because knowing that you're gonna spend $1,800 on injectors, and if it gets stuck open, you're not gonna get warranty, so you have to drop another 300, nah, I'm good. But we'll see what, what the future may hold. Um, shout out to uh, Drop Bear Performance, uh, LLC. Um, with them, they're coming out with completely larger turbos, and also AMS is coming out with the complete larger turbos. Not a hybrid, complete larger units. And in that case, that's when I would sit there and say, you should definitely get the large injectors because more air, you're gonna need more fuel. And that there's gonna be a limit for the stock injectors for the big turbos. So otherwise than that guys, uh, sorry for making this video lengthy, but definitely hit the like button below, subscribe, bell notification. Also support me and support the channel, Teespring account below, the articles below to AMS. Hopefully I put a link to uh, where you can purchase their injectors if you want. AMS, don't get mad at me, I'm, their information's there and people are gonna ask my honest opinion. It is what it is. So otherwise than that, guys, you have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Contact me at Boost Emotion on G and Facebook, Boost Emotion on gmail.com. You guys have a good day. Appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also, on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost Emotion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you.